Greetings, fellow detectives, and welcome to Boiler Room Detective. The Case of the Plugged Gas Pipe Occasionally, you get to witness karma up close and in person. We were starting two new boilers we sold in a local school district. The boiler room was filled with people, including the obnoxious installing contractor Bill, and his apprentice, the general contractor, the electrician, the maintenance director, and the mechanical engineer who designed the system. Bill, the mechanical contractor, was rude to everyone on the job. He would take tools or ladders without asking and be angry when the contractors asked for them back. He and the electrician almost came to blows when Bill took the electrician's scissor lift while the electrician was on break. I experienced Bill's ire one morning when he called my office screaming that the burners had not arrived with the boilers, and he needed them right away. He said he would backcharge me for the aggravation. After the phone call, I contacted the burner manufacturer, and they sent me the trucking company's pro number to check on the delivery. The shipper's website said the burners were received a month earlier at their shop, and Bill signed for it. I informed the pleasant contractor of this, and he said, Well, I didn't know they were for this job. They should have been better marked. I bit my tongue. Another annoying habit Bill had was leaving his partially filled coffee cups all over the job site. The general contractor was angry when he saw the drawings were stained with several rings and drips from Bill's coffee cups. The morning of the startup, Bill was anxious to get the boiler started to get his money, and the owner wanted the heat on so the teachers would stop complaining. After checking the wiring and piping, we were ready to start the first burner. Checking the manometer downstream of the gas pressure showed no pressure. We installed a manometer upstream of the regulator to check the incoming gas pressure. That manometer read zero as well. The manual gas valves were open from the meter to the boilers. I informed the angry contractor and told him to call us when he got the gas pressure issue resolved. You can't leave. These boilers must be started today, he yelled and thundered off to call the gas company. A few hours later, two gas company employees showed up. Bill berated the utilities employees for taking so long to arrive and for supplying a defective gas meter. After a bit, the gas company foreman said, The gas meter is working fine. Looks like the pipe is plugged between the meter and the building. The meter had 12 inches of gas pressure on the outlet and no gas pressure inside the building a few feet away. This sent Bill into another of his tirades. The gas company employees disconnected the piping after the meter and connected an air compressor to the outside pipe. Bill, the contractor, and his apprentice disconnected the gas piping to the boilers inside the building. After ensuring everything was clear, the gas company tech opened the valve from the air compressor. A few seconds later, we heard a loud thump and saw a shriveled coffee cup on the floor. The name Bill was still visible on the crunched cup. The apprentice said, Looks like one of yours, boss. We all laughed and this infuriated the contractor. The best part was when the gas company employees told him they were sending him a bill because this was not the company's fault. He stormed out of the boiler room, cursing loudly. I'm not sure how that cup ended in, in the pipe, but my bet is on a general contractor, or maybe it was the electrician. The lesson I learned from this case is to treat everyone on the job with respect. If you would like to contact me, my contact information is here. In addition, I have my two websites, the Brewing with Steam site, 
has monthly blog posts on steam systems for breweries and distilleries. I have written 11 books on boilers and they are available on Amazon. In addition, you could find some of my writings in these fine publications. Thanks for stopping by Boiler Room Detective and I hope to see you on the next case.